Hello YouTube, Tech is Mason here, and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you how you install Mac OS 6 on your Hackintosh. And the main thing you'll need is your custom built computer and your Unibeast flash drive. If you don't have your Unibeast flash drive, click here to go back and watch my tutorial on how to create one. Let's get to it. Okay, so while booting up, you want to go into your BIOS menu by pressing delete or whatever your designated key is. I have a gigabyte board, so my key is delete. So I'm going to press delete. It's going to take us to the BIOS. And the first thing we want to do is go to peripherals. And in peripherals, we want to go to SATA mode selection and change and change IDE and make sure it's AHCA, AHCI. Once it's AHCI, you're good. You want to go to BIOS features and then you want to go to boot option one. And if your flash drive is not there, like mine isn't there, what you want to do is just disable everything and then go to save and exit and then your hard your flash drive will be here I have a Kingston hard drive so this is my hard drive right there so I'm gonna just boot from here okay so once we boot it'll boot into this and this is the the Tony Mac x86 bootloader so we're gonna boot into our USB okay so once you get here you wanna select your language I'm speaking English of course so enter you want to click continue agree and for you there will be nothing here there will be nothing here you're going to be like I know I installed my hard drive so you're going to have to go up to utilities then you're going to have to go to disk utility and when you're in disk utility you're going to it's going to select your hard drive and there's nothing going to be under it so you're going to go to that which is the hard drive sorry I am trying to focus for you guys trying to focus but you're going to select your hard drive and then you're going to go to partition then depending you're going to go to one partition you're going to name it whatever you want I'm going to call this test I'm going to call mine Hackintosh what would I call it test and then you're going to select Mac OS X extended journal go to options and then select GUID partition tabled click OK and you should apply and then once you do that your disk your partition will come there and then you'll be able to exit out disk utility and then bam your hard drive should be showing now you wanna click install and now depending on your hardware it's gonna take a certain amount of time if you have a traditional hard drive it's gonna take about 20 minutes if you have an SSD it's gonna take between 10 to 15 minutes so I'll see you when it gets done Okay, so now the installation is complete and the computer will automatically restart or I can just click restart myself. Now you still need to boot into your USB drive because the drive you just installed it to still does not have a bootloader so you still want to boot from your USB drive. But this time you want to select Hackintosh instead of USB. Oops, I almost forgot. In my case, I will have to boot in safe mode, so I'll restart my computer and do that now. Many of you guys won't have to boot in safe mode, but for some reason in my case, I did. But once you boot, you'll click United States or wherever country you're in, and you're going to click continue. Choose your keyboard. I'm in the U.S. I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi right now. Do I want to transfer information to this Mac? No, because I do not have anything to transfer from. I'm not going to enable location services. And well, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and enter my Apple ID. Okay, so Tom Warner wants to make my internet go slow, so I just decided to skip that. But now we're at the terms of condition. Do I accept? Yes. <laughs> Didn't even read it. But yeah, I'm going to sit on my computer. Um, okay. Continue. And there it goes. Thank you. And it said welcome. So now I can boot in to my Mac OS 6 dashboard. Or I can just boot into it. Let me log in. But once I'm not finished, I will have to download MultiBeast and do my MultiBeast features. So I won't have to boot in safe mode every time and so I can get the full out of my HD 4000 graphics, my 1080p, get everything working, my ethernet and stuff like that. Okay, so we're going to go to Tony Mac x86 to get multi-beast. 
Okay, so I've downloaded MultiBeast. Let's go ahead and launch that up and launch MultiBeast. Now, while I'm doing my MultiBeast settings, I want you guys to know that you cannot copy my MultiBeast settings. Your MultiBeast settings depends on your hardware and what you use to build your computer. This is just for my computer. So, I'm going to go through everything showing you what works with my computer. So, I'm going to go to Easy Beast, Drivers and Bootloaders, Drivers. I'm going to go to I'm gonna go to all of them and see if I need it. Audio, I don't need audio because I have a USB audio. And graphics, none of those. Miscellaneous, nope. Network, I need Asteneros because that's how I enable my ethernet. System, there's nothing in there. Bootloaders, uh, I could get a bootloader but I really don't need one since I only have one operating system. Go to customizations, boot options, Yes, 1080p display and boot options. Okay, if you have a, a graphics card that is not supported, just select graphics enabler equals no. I do not have my graphics card yet, so I do not need to select that yet. System definitions, I'm going to select mine as Mac Mini 6.1. Okay, let's go to SSDT options. Nothing in there I need. It's not Sandy Bridge. And I'm done, so I'm going to go to continue. Make sure you install it to the hard drive that you boot from, which is mine, Hackintosh, and it is installing now. I actually got it to boot. What I did was I just took my flash drive out, I installed Chimera again, and now it's booting, and we'll see if it boots correctly, see if I got everything working. Okay, got to enter my password. This is not a safe boot, as you don't see safe boot in the right corner. So everything is correct. Let's see if the sound is working. As you can hear, the sound is working. So yeah, we basically got a full functioning Hackintosh. I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope I got, hope I helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces, YouTube.